this is Lisa from Crimson Greenway. Today is Wednesday, May 26th, and uh, this is my floss tube number nine uh, for Wool Along Friends. Um, today I am shooting this video um, so that I can announce the winners to my giveaway from last week. Um, in addition, I have a few thank yous uh, I want to shout out. One is to Bonnie, Log Cabin Stitcher. Bonnie, hello. Thank you so, so much for um, doing this wool along with me. I'm so excited to get started um, come June, and um, I'm hoping uh, lots of people will join in. I have to say I've gotten lots and lots of positive comments from multiple people um, saying either they have wool projects in their closets that they're going to be getting out that they haven't worked on in a while, or people saying they've always wanted to give it a try, and this is their opportunity to go ahead and jump in. Uh, I had a few people say um, they were going on trips and they thought it'd be a great, um, a great craft to take along because you really don't need a magnifier uh, to do it. Um, and I totally agree, it's very, very portable. Uh, once you get things prepped nicely, uh, you can just bring it along in a little project bag and off you go. So, um, so I'm so excited that people are going to uh, give this a try. Um, as I said, I feel like they're quick little finishes um, that you can uh, get done lickety-split and have a beautiful project to display. Um, I know one of my viewers, and honestly I forgot her name, uh, posted on Instagram that she had finished one of the little uh, basket pillows um, that I had talked about last time and uh, it sounded like she had it stitched up within a few days and it was just beautiful. Um, so I apologize that I forgot your name. Um, but I am very, very excited, and thank you all for participating and um, hoping to get started on June 1st, but again, you can jump in at any time. Don't feel obligated to start on that date. Um, a couple ideas I wanted to throw out before I announce the winners. Uh, again, all these ideas have come from my commenters and subscribers who are so awesome. Um, Kindred Stitcher uh, mentioned that uh, she was on a trip and was in Iowa and went to a store called Little Red Hen. And there she bought several wool kits. If you look at her, her very last floss tube, you will see some wool kits she purchased there. And surprisingly enough, she was able to get off their shelves this out of print book, Another Place in Time by Maggie Mononymy. Um, I, I have to admit, after she mentioned that, I called um, Little Red Hen and they did not have any more. But what it got me thinking is there may be quilt shops um, around the country, maybe some near you, that may have older books from Maggie Bonanami or other um, wool designers um, that may be out of print and they just have them on their shelves that haven't sold. So, you know, give them a call, especially if you have one near you. Give them a call. You never know what you might find. And then you get it for the regular price instead of paying astronomical prices on eBay. So um, thank you, Lisa, from Kindred Stitcher for mentioning that. Um, and if you are looking for any um, wool kits, um, you know, definitely Little Red Hen um, does have wool kits available, so you might want to give them a try. Um, I did want to point out, too, that one of my subscribers mentioned that she took an online wool applique class through Rebecca Smith. Um, I've shown you her books before. If you get on her website, um, she also has freebie patterns um, that would be available to you uh, that you could download. And in addition, um, check out her online classes. That sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't had a chance to go over there and take a look, but I will be checking that out myself. Um, in addition, um, another designer that I failed to mention was um, Stacy West from Buttermilk Basin. Um, if you get on her website, she also has wool applique kits. And she is a wool applique designer. I actually don't have any of her uh, kits or patterns, but I did um, browse briefly on her website, and they are just beautiful. So go ahead and check that out. Um, also, uh, Primitive Gatherings, with, which is Lisa Bonjean. She has kits on her site if you're interested. And then um, uh, Carol from Saltbox Stitcher mentioned that Blackberry Primitives, um, their website also has kits. So these are all places you can hop right on, see if there's something that floats your boat, and you get the full kit. And uh, that way you don't have to shop around uh, trying to find the right color wools and buy too much wool that you might not use, especially if you're just trying it out. So, um, so check out all those. 
Um, in addition, I had one subscriber say that she found two of the books that I had showed, although she didn't tell me which two, she found at her local library. I never even thought about that. So um, definitely check out your library. They may have some of these books and you know you could look through them and pick out a, a project or two and, and whip them up um, without having to purchase any. Um, and libraries now, the fun thing is they do a lot of interlibrary loans. So feel free to ask them. Several months ago, I wanted a particular book and um, they were able to get it within a few days from a local university um, and it was great. So uh, definitely check out your local library. I never thought about that. Um, in addition, another one of my commenters mentioned um, using wool from old garments. Um, I don't have any wool garments in my closet, but I'm thinking this summer I may get out and about to some estate sales or thrift shops and find some wool that might be interesting. She said that what she would recommend is to wash it in hot water, rinse it in cold, and then put it in the dryer. She said also if you wanted to take another step and you could hand dye it yourself using rip dye. So um, I might give that a try and I'll, I'll let you know how it goes, so we'll see. Um, so those were just some things I wanted to mention. Um, this week I didn't actually put together any wool projects, but I do have another inspirational project that is wool related that I kind of forgot about that I wanted to show you. Um, it was last um, kind of winter time, I think. Um, Old Tattered Flag did have a very small class, and it was a class for doing wool trees. And I did go up for the class, and I want to show you. I have my little tree here. I've kind of forgotten about it. I have my little tree here, and um, it was so much fun to do. I'm going to try to bring it in close so that you can see um, these are little pieces of wool. And what we did um, is we used a Sizzix machine. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that, um, but it's kind of this machine that can cut things uniformly. So we put the wool um, on the machine and you just kind of slide it and it cuts it into these very uniform uh, little frills. And then you take the piece of wool, it's a long piece that's kind of fringed. That's a good way, it looks fringed on the end. And you kind of wrap it around a piece of wire and then you glue it at the end. And then you put the wire in the center um, here. And so it was a super, super fun project. And um, honestly, I just leave it out all year. I did get, they were selling little little toppers and I got a little uh, rooster topper because we have chickens. And um, so I kind of leave it out all year. I probably should put some little, maybe wool or cross stitch ornaments on it. I really haven't gotten around to it. They did sell this cute little ornament and just these little, um, they actually hand dyed these little, um, these little balls, they're wooden, I think, and it looks like they kind of over dyed them, which are super cute. This is kind of an orangey, an orangey color with some browns to make it look hand dyed. So, um, so honestly, I kind of just leave it out all year, but this is another cute woolly project. Um, I don't know for sure if Old Tattered Flag has like a kit for this or not, but I'm betting if you go on the internet, you could buy, probably buy a kit for it. Um, I don't know if there's any online um, tutorials for it or not. There might be, um, but it is super, super cute. And this is, they had a bunch of different bases that you could put it in, uh, but this is just kind of a wooden base um, that I have it in. Uh, but I just love it. I just love it. I think it's, it's truly adorable. I'm sure you can make it in multiple sizes. Um, they also had multiple colors of wool. Um, there was a lady who made a white tree with white wool. Uh, somebody did um, like four or five different kinds of wools um, that looked really cute, like different shades of green. Uh, somebody did a silvery, silvery bluish kind of tree. Um, really, the sky's the limit on it. So um, super cute, super great idea. Uh, it's a little little wool tree. So another another project you can do with wool, although it's not wool applique, but I thought it'd be inspirational and cute to show. Um, this week, um, I did get around to getting started on my uh, wool sampler. Let me remind you what it looks like. It's called Maggie's Wool Sampler from the um, Another Place in Time book by Maggie Bonanami. And here's how it looked. And as I said, I told you last week how much I was in love with this uh, project. And so over the weekend, I was able to um, get all my pieces cut out. So 
here's my board. I've got all my pieces cut out um, and I am just looking forward to getting started and attaching them to my background. Um, I think I'm probably going to use that utility fabric I showed you last time. However, the piece I have is just two inches shy of what it needs to be. And so I think I may have to make a trip to Joann's to get a bigger piece. But um, the big hard part I think is done. Um, the next part is getting everything adhered, um, ironed on, and then I can start uh, stitching on it. So I am, I am super excited. This is definitely going to be my first project for the wool along. Uh, just getting it all, all prepped here. So there you go. All right, so let me get to the last part here, uh, which is the giveaway winners. I um, did them with the random comment generator. I'd never used that before, but it was very easy to use, and I did it um, just before coming on here. So, uh, so let me go through the winners, guys. This is exciting. Uh, so the first one, if you remember, uh, again, a big shout out and thank you to Michelle from Under the Wool and Willow, and I have to apologize to her. Last time I said I was gonna put her link below and I put a bunch of links but I didn't put hers so I'm gonna remember this time to put her link below at the, under the woolen willow she also oh I almost forgot she also sent me a message um, saying that she's gonna be putting together some beginner wool kits on her website how did I forget that beginner wool kits um, on under the woolen willow um, so go and check that out I'm not sure if they're up yet she messaged me a few days ago that um, she was going to be putting those together. She said she's so excited uh, about wool applique um, uh, coming out on YouTube. So um, that will be so much fun. I'm definitely going to be checking them out. So, um, okay, so the first winner, well, the first uh, booklet uh, from Michelle at Under the Wool and Willow um, in the series Wing of the Crow is the spring book. And if you remember, it's this gorgeous um, bird with a little nest. And then in the back, there's multiple projects that go with the spring book. Um, and if you're not the winner, please go check it out at her website. She does have these available. And our first winner is Novella McCracken. That's N-O-V-E-L-L-A. Novella McCracken. So congratulations, Novella. I hope you um, pick something uh, super cute and join in our wool along. I'm going to comment on your comment, and I'm also going to put my email um, in the Dropbox below, so please email me your address, and I'm gonna get this right out to you um, if I can. If, as soon as you email me, I'll get, I'll get it right out to you. Uh, so hopefully you can get started. Okay, our second book from Wing of the Crow series is our summer book, and if you remember, this was the awesome one with the beehive on it. And um, looking at the back, this is the one that had cute little strawberries there and a little scissor holder. Look how adorable those little projects are. Oh, I love it. All right, the winner of our summer was Debbie's Making Stuff. Debbie's Making Stuff. And she's also on Instagram at the same name. So I'm going to comment on her comment, and I'm also going to try to message her on message her on Instagram so that I can get this out to her ASAP. So congratulations, Debbie. Awesome. Okay, and um, next in the series is our autumn book. And if you remember, this one has the beautiful pumpkins on there. And then on the back, some more beautiful harvesty, pumpkin-y projects. And our winner for this one is Kathy Newhart. Kathy, congratulations. I will comment on your comment and uh, we will get this out to you as soon as possible. Awesome. And the last in our series is our winter book. And this is the one that has the beautiful red house on there. And then on the back, some beautiful projects again with the red house and, and these cute little hearts. I just love these on the stick. Is that adorable or what? So beautiful, and our winner there is Hazel Anderson. And Hazel, believe it or not, is from Fox Glove and Lace Linen. So hi, Hazel, I've heard such good things about your linen. I'm definitely going to be trying it out soon. Um, so I'm going to comment on her comment, and I'm also going to try to get a hold of her, uh, possibly through Instagram, or if she has a website, uh, Fox, Fox Glove and Lace Linen. 
So good for you, Hazel. Awesome. Okay, and then the very last uh, giveaway was what I had purchased at Old Tattered Flag, which was the Wool and Feed Sack Banner, which is kind of uh, an American flag kit. comes with uh, all the wool and the feed sack material here um, in the kit. And the winner of that is another Kathy, um, Kathy Richards. Um, this Kathy is spelled K-A-T-H-I-E. So Kathy Richards, congratulations on the banner. I will comment on your comment and um, as soon as you get back to me, I'll have it out in the mail to you. So I'm hoping to see this one done. Next time I go up there, I think I'm gonna get one for myself. So awesome, awesome. All right, everybody, that was super exciting. Um, thank you all for participating. I'm hoping to see all the beautiful projects that you're going to create in June at hashtag along friends. I know Bonnie is super excited also um, uh, to do this project along with me and uh, see what we're all creating. I hope we can inspire each other. Um, just reading a lot of these comments has been very inspirational. I've learned so much and um, I'm going to continue to try to pass it on. I'm going to continue to try to do um, some hashtag wool along friends videos in the future as I get my wool projects done and I hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Bye.